Hi! Today's video will be a little bit different because I will try to target silverfish on lures. And when I say lures, I mean things of this kind of a size. I hope you can see it. I'll try to get the focus on it. So yeah, tiny little grub of about 1.5 to 2 centimeters in length with tiny jihad as well. As I say, I will be targeting rod, roach, some bream, maybe some chublets as well. So yeah, I hope you'll find this video fun to watch. Let's go! Good little area. Come on, you fish. Come on! Here it is. What do we have here? Bleak! Even though I would have liked to catch a rod first, but yeah, nice little bleak. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's try again. And that fish took my lure just on the draw, basically, when I was letting my lure drop a little bit. So, little twitch, stop, little twitch, stop, little twitch, stop. That water still is too murky for the conditions to be ideal. Little flick, come on! That was a good stop on the drop. Not a massive fish, nice rod. This is what we are after. Bang! And see that lure is nicely in the fish's, in the fish's top loop here. Bobless as always, fantastic little fish on lures, you know, really, really great. Just look at them colors on the bottom fins, really, and the half of the tail is super bright as well. Just awesome fish. Okay, thank you. This little bit, by the looks of it, is a little bit like clearer. Yes, it has some small stuff on, on the top but uh, not so many like big clumps of weed, you know. Twigs and just rubbish. That was a good stop. Thinking what is happening there. That fish just nailed that lure and it was like, you know, going with it. Not a massive fish, but just... I mean, I'm fishing super light, you know, I have to take my time. It's not a massive fish like at all, but just quality, quality, Whew! just look at that fish and that fish properly ate that lure. You can't even see the lure. I mean, probably you can a little bit now, but it's, it's quite, it's quite deep, you know, I will have to use some tool just to get that lure out, you know, but yeah, super quality fish on lures. So yeah, quality fish, really, really good, good stamp rod. There she goes, perfection. Like blind fishing a little bit. Some fish, I believe, was following my lure. That was awesome. <laughs> I saw that fish follow my lure, and yeah, boom. <laughs> Perfect little rod. Again, aids the lure, just not too sure if you can see it, but I mean, that's ridiculous. Just means you know that lure is good and presentation is bang on. Okay, let's try to get that little lure out. Just to have another little look at that fish. 
<laughs> Fantastic, R really fish to catch on lures. Then the back did not want to show herself any longer, you know. Okay, let's keep on fishing, I guess. Pretty certain I saw a fish or two just there. Water is not really clear, like enough just to see better like and be sure that it was a fish you know but i will i will try you know i i have nothing to lose anyway here it is i was right that's i believe uh, a roach yeah or what what is it no that's a chublet actually chublet cool cool another species yeah as I say, you will catch everything on this little lure and this little tactics, you know? Tiny little chublet, bubbles hook in the nose. Here we are. Angry one, very, very angry fish. Just look at them. <laughs> they are funny. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that little sink of the lure. It's very, very important today. Just letting that lure sink towards the bottom slowly. All the bites were doing exactly that. Exactly that, guys. I had one bite on the drop though, like after cast it out and waited but again I'm not letting my lure sink to the bottom like at all because I have super fine line every single snag would would end up you know me losing my lure so just won't do it and you don't need to do it when when you are targeting silver fish it's be best you know to present your lure somewhere off the bottom depending on the situation obviously but yeah but yeah see see what I'm doing here just after I cast it out I'm not reeling just letting it sink couple twitches whilst I'm reeling let it sink couple twitches whilst I'm reeling let it sink and sometimes when when I let it sink I, I stop reeling but then I'm twitching my my lure as well so it's sinking but twitching at the same time again every water will have its own you know specifics or how to approach the fish and different day might have different presentations better than this one but this one works for me like most of the time for silver fish for like a roach a rod and stuff for bream you want to to present your lure like statically like on, on the same like level the same depth bream won't chase you know up and down your lure that's for sure they are too lazy That was awesome. I saw that fish followed the lure and that's a decent fish actually is the biggest so far today. Not not too sure what is it. Uh, another chablet I believe. Uh, very slow. Very slow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm after uh, I'm after bits and bobs, but yeah, still it's Yeah, a little chablet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little chablet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. Look, very, very aggressive one. <laughs> very aggressive one. <laughs> or six. <laughs> okay, thank you. I will take a few minutes to talk about the tackle because tackle and this kind of fishing is very, very important and really it will kind of make or break your day so you have got to have right tackle when targeting silverfish so the rod must be super ultra light so for example i have one which is casting rating up to three grams so from 0 0.3 to three grams and exact 
thing which I am using it's screwing that on a TTS 510S and really fantastic really rod and then the reel again the reel is not as important but again with super ultra light rod you will need a very light reel and reel which has very good brakes or drag because you will be fishing super fine lines and the brakes on this cast king kestrel spin in my opinion are the best i ever used from any you know reel so yeah this is what i'm using and on the reel right i have super fine braid that's a two pound strength braided line to be exact that's a gossen resonator fat i believe it's called and thickness is 0 0.0.2 pe i believe or one so super fine and then business and right it's very very important as well so i have 0 0.10 fluorocarbon hook link that's a drenon suplex and then lure right that chickhead is 0 0.19 grams and tiny little lure number 18 hook as well so all the thing is probably 1.5 centimeters in length or so again you would never expect to catch a rod and roach on canal when using thick lines and big hooks and stuff so this is what I'm trying, you know, to kind of imitate tiny little bug attached via very fine fluorocarbon. So yeah, everything I mentioned, especially towards the end of it all, when it comes to the lure, that's just crucial. And also you might think, okay, I will grab a heavy rod and will use tiny lures and will catch. You won't be able to cast these like super light baits with like heavier rods as simple as that so yeah that's my tackle in a nutshell that was awesome i actually saw that little chublet came in and nailed that lure that was awesome look looking for snags that's awesome i mean not a massive fish but just a fantastic one to catch wow just i don't know can you see that lure i mean not super deep i just will be able to get my finger in i guess and push that lure back and it should come out since it bubbles here we go <laughs> what a fight just look very angry little fish very very angry just look at them <laughs> Super angry fish. It's not a happy camp at all. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ooh, that was a good cast. I will get a fish now. No? What? Come on. Some, that was awesome. <laughs> what do we have here? That I believe will be a little chublet or a roach. That might be just, yeah, that is a roach. I ah, know chublet. Looked like a roach at one point. Bosh, we are piling fish, guys. Fantastic little chublet. what a fight as well awesome thank you <laughs> it's not easy with some stuff on the top with some little bits that was awesome i saw that fish come and just turned with a lure away that was awesome the water is definitely getting clearer. Nice little rod. Bosh! Again, when you have everything right, presentation and stuff, this is how you want to hook them. I mean, the lure is 
not super deep, but probably half a centimeter in the mouth. Can I? No, it's too small, so I'll have to look for some tools to unhook that little fish. That's a lure. <laughs> Thank you. Really piling fish, guys. Piling fish now. Okay, let's go back. I said when I saw some fish follow my lure. Don't know whether I tried to eat it or not. Did not quite see it. That was awesome. That's a nice, very nice rod. Just on the on the pause, you know, on the on the pole. It's one of the nicer rods for today. That is gold, guys. That is gold. See, hooked just hooked though, just in the nose there. <laughs> this is gold, guys. Mint fish as well. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Good cast. Good cast. Very good cast. That was awesome. Just fixed my rod, and whilst it was sinking, you know, whilst my lure was sinking, bang, fish on the drop. As I say, guys, that drop is very, very important. You give it which, give a long drop. Give it which, give a long drop. Perfect. We are piling fish, guys, now. Awesome. Thank you. That was awesome. I saw that fish come into clear water and nail that lure. That was awesome. Did not feel the bite into the hand. And that's another species. That's, that's a roach. How about that? I mean, we had that one before, which dropped as I touched it, but it was a roach. But now we got it into our paws, as you can see, guys. Fantastic quality canal fish. Very angry as well, just look. Thank you. Some fish was following, that was awesome. I saw that fish come towards my lure. Oh, did you see that? Damn it, that pike. That pike is going crazy. It's trying to nail that, that rod. Okay, that's it, you rod, you survived. And that pike just is standing just here. It's waiting. Look, that is insane. I will I will spook that pike. Look, it's not going away. That's insane. Still still like messing about. Finally. Still like going around and coming back. That's insane. Okay, I'll go away and chuck that rod somewhere here so that pike would not be able to nail. That's a beautiful fish. Thank you. <laughs> got one finally that was awesome i saw that fish come towards me and nail that lure that was awesome that's my icing on my cake today and the newer ones actually are coming just to investigate usually bream behaves that uh, like that when you know they are close to spawning they're kind of more aggressive you know okay i will have to net this one then not too sure should i try to catch another one after this one we'll see let's land this one first that's a proper slab guys Yeah, that's a big fish for a canal, definitely, guys. 
as you can see male fish uh, he has uh, those spots so I'm right about these fish are about to spawn you know one big mouth on this one can't get that lure out finally tangled himself yeah guys that's a proper bonus for a day <laughs> as they say icing on my cake probably four pounds if not more okay let's go back okay guys heading towards my vehicle and yeah it was a fantastic day's fishing i had a few bites still i'm looking into the water you know just about to check once more uh, but yeah i won't do it uh, i will call it happy to call it he had quite a few fish a lot of really bites and as i say tiny little lures produced silver fish you know what else do you want from fishing you know yes it is challenging but once you have right tackle uh, you will catch it as well try it out but that's that thanks for watching and see you in the next one